just about to enter the race, and Trump's still, of course, the front runner by quite a bit. Who's going to be stronger against presumptively Biden in the battleground states? Joining me now at the big board, Chris Bedford, Common Sense Society executive editor. All right, Chris, great to see you tonight. Let's start with Georgia. 16 electoral votes. Trump lost it, remember, by less than 1% in 2020. So what are the polls telling us now about how Trump would do there against Biden? Donald Trump and almost almost all the polls that we've seen that have been done so far, granted it's early, is behind Joe Biden. Now, Joe Biden is running pretty badly against generic Republicans, maybe against a Tim Scott or against a Ron DeSantis type figure, but he's consistently beating Donald Trump. And that's part of the reason for that is probably because Trump, as well as Biden, are so well-defined in the American mind. Both of them have some of the same issues. They're well-known. They're not a new person on the stage. Uh, they both have age concerns. Uh, but Trump and Trump is extremely well defined. So we're seeing him behind. But we're seeing folks like maybe Ron DeSantis actually beating Joe Biden in all these different states. All right. Let's look at the polls. DeSantis head to head uh, against Biden. Now, this is Georgia. This is Georgia, and this is a good sign for general Republicans to look at, because like you said, Georgia was a state that was just lost. Georgia's got some Democratic senators now. To see Republicans this far out leading, except for Joe, except for Donald Trump, leading Joe Biden shows a lot of the weaknesses that he's got but in these Chris, states. Chris, look at where that AP poll, I think it was today that came out. I think it was AP. Oh, yeah, for instance, for sure. Yeah, he, he was Ronda, Ronda Sanders acting like, Ronda Sanders acting like every, every kind of Latino and Haitians and Jamaicans ain't been running around up in Florida since long before he was born. Since long before Florida was a part of the United States at all. Motherfuckers acting like <laughs> shit crazy, man. Showed that econ the economy and immigration are the two biggest issues, right? The two biggest concerns for key voters. So, I mean, that, that's got to be Republican territory there, and especially a state like Georgia that's getting hammered. It is. And I mean, today walking to the grocery store for the first time since COVID, I heard that awful cliche line in these difficult times, yeah. in these hard times. And I wasn't talking about a pandemic. It was talking to shoppers about how high inflation is or how high the prices have risen. And you can't hide that stuff with speeches from, from Washington. All right, Chris, let's go to um, Arizona, another state that Trump lost by less than 1%. 11 electoral votes. What are the polls saying about how he'd do against Biden? It's a lot of the same thing. And what we've seen really from everything has shown, all the numbers we've seen have shown, is that in 2016, Donald Trump probably hit the ceiling he's going to get. A little bit over 46% of the country didn't quite get the popular vote, but won at the Electoral College. Uh, a part of that was due to some of the Democratic base not being activated. Those folks are active. I mean, truthfully, both Donald Trump and Joe Biden have, have, long, have long hit their ceiling long ago hit their ceiling you know what i'm saying so it, it's pretty much a stalemate and it's gonna come down to independence and swing voters like it's not gonna be like a huge democratic turnout a huge republican turnout it's just gonna be you know like my it's just gonna be like the loyal democrats and republicans come out and the swing voters and the independents but joe biden certainly isn't gonna have like young people voting in droves there may be people who go to the polls more so for interesting uh, House and Senate candidates, if if any pop up. But Joe Biden's not going to be able to draw a whole lot of excitement. But yet and still, Donald Trump, even though a few polls may have him up, like he's just he's just really not in a good position to win a general election at all. Activated, activated right now. So while Trump has really solidified his core, he's not seeming to gain new voters. He's a very well established person. Um, DeSantis versus Biden in Arizona. Another good sign for DeSantis or generally for the GOP. Now, this is one poll. This is 500 Arizona voters just taken as a plus 4.4. Um, You're right. It's just know, one poll. Margin of error. But it is a broader trend. In, in matchups between ex Republican and Joe Biden, ex Republican usually wins, except when it's Donald Trump. And uh, this is something that's good because if you, if, for, for Republicans, uh, if you add this state to Georgia, that beats a loss in Michigan. That might beat a loss out in Pennsylvania. There's 27 electoral votes between the two of them. So if Republicans are able to win those like some of those generic polls are showing right now, then they'll actually maybe be able to get the White House back. Now, looking at one of the early primary states, New Hampshire, where I spent four long winters. All right, Trump has a big lead over DeSantis. He, he sits at about 24 points on the RCP average. That's stunning. Yeah, and this is the poll that more than anything we've talked about so far probably is going to matter the most to who is actually running in Georgia, in Arizona, is who gets out. And then, too, like they pointed out, it's only one poll, but also Ron DeSantis, like, I mean, he's got to be he's got to be Trump, let alone uh, do well with the rest of the country, because, you know, I mean, just 
pretty much every other thing that he does is is not only unpopular with the broader public, but is getting a lot of attention for it. On top of the fact that Ron DeSantis has no charisma and no people skills. So, eh, it, you know, I mean, maybe later, but right now it's just not Ron DeSantis' time. Out of the Republican primary. Now, in Iowa and New Hampshire, Donald Trump is absolutely dominating. He's bringing the crowds. He's also had six months to really have the campaign stage to himself. And never before has he run against someone who's part of the new right, who kind of shares his ideas, who's not part of the old you know, Tim Scott Republican guard. So this is going to be an interesting fight when DeSantis actually comes. But it's a really hard thing to him to overcome is that rock hard base that's really going to be voting for Trump. So Trump. Let's say he wins Iowa, wins New Hampshire, then you go to South Carolina. Is Tim Scott a factor in South Carolina? Yeah, you've got two two home. Narlaus, you'd be killing me with that pudding every time. <laughs> but again, that's what that's what Ron DeSantis is to everybody now. So it's like, yeah, this this one poll may show Ron DeSantis up in maybe a Republican state, or I think it show one in Arizona too, which is not like a deeply red area. Um, but eh, I, nah, I'm I'm extra not willing to say, oh yeah, Ron DeSantis is going to beat Joe Biden. Ron DeSantis can't beat himself. Home sons in South Carolina. You got Tim you. Scott, you got Nikki Haley. Two establishment Republicans. Where is that working? I, I don't, well, I, that's an interesting thing. Whether it shows the Republican Party how little they've actually learned. Ron DeSantis and Donald Trump are the only people running in the popular slate out of all of them. But still, you get that kind of you get that respect for the hometown candidate. I mean, people don't like to run against, people don't like to run against folks in their home state. They don't even usually put the money there. How did Jeb Bush, Bush do in Florida? Against yeah, he Trump? was pretty well done, but yeah. <laughs> okay. well home, I, hometown Good advantage. Point. All right. All right. So <laughs> how did that? I mean, if Donald Trump going to be mad at anybody, it should be him for pointing out that, you know, Trump isn't necessarily in like a super powerful position. Laura Ingram really didn't do anything. She was just being a very, normal regular reporter in there like like if you didn't know who Nor laura ingram was if you had never seen any of her segments and you and you only saw that you would just think of her like oh she's just she's just a professional reporter <laughs> but i guess it's the fact that laura had the nerve to to air some shit like that so we're gonna see all right so what what, what did trump say about this because y'all y'all already know i'm gonna bring my trump and my ryan DeSantis voices today hold on let me get some more Former President Donald Trump lashed out at Fox News host Laura Ingram on Monday after she aired a series of polls that showed him performing worse than Florida Governor Ron DeSantis against President Joe Biden in several states. And again, it's like, <clears throat> how? why would something like this make you mad when at the end of the day, every single poll that's coming out that with you against Ron DeSantis is showing you trouncing that man by like dozens of points, like dozens of points multiple times over and this dude is like <laughs> yo he really is miserable like this dude is miserable uh, okay let's go ahead and just see what he says because we just watched the clip okay oh oh he he, he trump laid it out <laughs> okay i know and then he and then he brought some other uh polls so what he say he said <clears throat> Laura Ingram on Fox News just did a hit piece on me. There go her ratings, showing some polls which indicate that Ron DeSantis may do better against Biden than I would. When actually polls show that I do much better against Biden than quote unquote Rob. The poll you're looking at now, which has me doing far better against Crooked Joe, was just out by Fox. I'm sure unhappily. Hold oh, no, on, what do you say? I am sure unhappily. Oh, I don't know what he meant by that exactly. That's why I paused. Like, okay. I'm also leading to Sanctus by over 40 points in primary voting. Watch Greg Kelly on Newsmax at 10 p.m. And then he puts, <laughs> and then he puts the polls. <laughs> uh, this dude, yo, Donald Trump is hilarious. And the fact that, the fact that so many people in the country are enamored with this man is, is really, it's it's sad, but it's also hilarious because it's just like, yo, bro, like this dude is really sitting around all day and night checking the airwaves to see what people are talking about him. You know what I'm saying? Like, what the hell? Like, bro, go do something. <laughs> okay, but that's what he had to say. That was funny. 